Hey everybody, it's Ron, and today I'm going to be reviewing Dune House Harkonnen Issue 1 from Boom Studios. Before I get started, I'd like to point out that I've reviewed all of the previous Dune comics, and you can find them in my Dune playlist if you want to catch up. Okay, so this is an adaptation of the second Dune prequel written by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I was pretty happy with House Atreides, the first adaptation. So I was very excited for this book and I was pleasantly surprised for the most part. I did a video a couple months ago going over some of the preview art when this book was announced and I thought it looked good but I wasn't blown away initially and I ended up liking it a lot more in the context of the full comic. Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson continue their writing duties. It's also illustrated by Michael Shelfer colored by Patricio Del Pesci, and lettered by Ed Dukeshire. The agricultural zone in this opening page looks really cool, and I could see this type of minimal design used in the Denis Villeneuve Dune movies, so it's a nice page to set the scene. This definitely hits that sweet spot for a comic where the art is cartoony, but leaves enough space to get dark and serious without looking out of place, so it's a nice balance. I kind of pretend like I'm watching a Dune animated series anyway with these books, so it definitely works in that way. I also feel like I got a lot of bang for my buck with this first issue because it doesn't leave any of the main players out for the most part. We get caught up with everyone from the last book pretty quickly, and Shelford does a good job aging these characters up a little bit. I always talk about this when I'm reviewing these Dune books, but I can't help it because... I read the source material, so I already have these events visualized in my head, and it's pretty 50-50 in this book. For example, the Imperial Palace stuff on Kaitain is not how I pictured it at all, but then the underground city on Ix is dead on and looks great in this issue. It was nice to see Jessica finally showing up in these prequel comics, and she gets a nice introduction. I like the choice of having her train as Mohiam talks about how important she is to the sisterhood because it makes an otherwise mundane section very dynamic. My personal favorite sections with these prequels take place on Caladan and it looks beautiful here. Duke Leto is aged up perfectly and they foreshadow a couple things very subtly with Prince Romber and Kylea. I think my only real complaint, and it's it's not a huge deal, but this issue does have a bit of an abrupt ending, and this would be fine as an ending to issue 2 or 3, but I feel like issue 1 needed to have something a little more exciting happen at the end, and maybe I'm just thinking about new readers picking this up as a jumping on point. I feel like there has to be something at the end that makes them want to pick up issue 2 immediately and I'm not sure if this will work, but I hope I'm wrong. Other than that, the art in these books keeps getting better and better, and I think the Dune franchise is still in a great place, which is really exciting because this will pave the way for more adaptations and novels. So let me know what you guys thought if you read this issue, and please be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Ron here with a quick announcement. When I started this channel, I was reading and reviewing the Dune books and other sci-fi related material. And most of you might not know that I'm also a musician. So when I was reading these sci-fi books, I started to get inspired and decided to make my own soundtrack to use for my videos. And now I'm excited to tell you all about the first volume in the Ron Reviews original soundtrack collection. This album includes the first 17 tracks featured on my channel, and it's available now exclusively on Bandcamp. Be sure to check the description of this video for the link to the album. Thanks so much for the support so far. I know I'm just starting out, but I hope you're having as much fun as I am. So check out the original soundtrack volume one on Bandcamp. This music is great if you want something moody and atmospheric to listen to while you're reading some science fiction. I think you're going to love it. Thanks.